ancient texts often speak of supernatural beings symbolizing the forces of good and evil, but not all entities fit neatly into these categories. For centuries, people in the Arabic world have spoken of creatures that bring both fortune and suffering. Despite these legends' ancient roots, recent reports suggest that the modern world still experiences the dread of the jinn. Jinn are unique in ancient folklore, often defying typical classifications of supernatural beings like angels or demons. Similar to humans, they are believed to have free will, allowing them to choose between good, evil, or neutrality. While Western culture typically depicts them as wish-granting genies from lamps, the real jinn are far more complex. The word jinn comes from the Semitic root jan, meaning to hide or to adapt. Though its exact meaning in Arabic is debated, it relates to terms in Latin and Persian languages. The spread of Islam and cultural blending have made it difficult to pinpoint the origin of the legends, but scholars agree they go back thousands of years. Descriptions of the jinn vary, but they are generally seen as shapeshifters, created from smokeless fire or scorching winds. They can appear in human form, often recognized by glowing eyes or ethereal bodies, or take on the forms of animals like snakes and dogs. According to the Quran, jinn are intelligent beings created by God, similar to angels and humans. They can choose to follow or defy Allah, capable of both kindness and cruelty. Although they typically avoid human interaction, they may fixate on individuals, influencing their lives through love or, more commonly, pain and suffering. While many dismiss the jinn as mere myth, some evidence suggests these ancient tales may hold more truth than we think. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Like many people, I struggled with anxiety from a young age. I vividly remember having a panic attack at school world of paranormal investigations. His fascination with the unknown stems from personal experiences with unexplainable events. Though he was born in Ohio, his family comes from Lebanon, and he grew up listening to eerie stories passed down through generations. One of the most unsettling stories was about his great-aunt Alice when she was just a child. Alice had been playing alone in the family home one afternoon when an overwhelming sense of dread came over her. Looking around, everything seemed normal except for a shadowy corner near the door to the kitchen. As she stared, the darkness seemed to shift, almost forming a human figure before dissolving. Thinking it was a trick of the light, she tried to focus on her game but couldn't shake the feeling. On her third glance, she saw something that made her heart stop a door, slightly ajar, revealed a figure entirely black, featureless, and made of shadow. As she crawled backwards, her father rushed to the door, but it wouldn't open. Desperate, he broke through a window, only to find his daughter in the corner, facing a tall shadow with glowing green eyes. In the days that followed, her father became gravely ill and passed away. Alice was left to wonder whether the creature had targeted her, or if it had lured her father to his doom. In another account from 2018, a young man named Raimi was driving home with family after a tense gathering. As they neared their destination, Rami suddenly stopped the car near a closed railway station, feeling an inexplicable urge to halt. His cousin gasped, pointing to a strange figure running toward them. The figure had unnaturally long legs and moved in a bizarre skipping motion, as if riding an invisible horse. As it got closer, they realized it had no face, just smooth skin. Rami, unable to move or look away, was snapped out of his trance by his mother's screams, allowing him to speed away just as the figure knelt in the road, waving menacingly. Lebanon, often misunderstood as a mere desert country, actually borders the Mediterranean Sea and has lush landscapes, including dense cedar forests. In 1992, a young businesswoman attending a conference near one of these areas decided to take a hike. Lost in the woods, she stumbled upon a strange brick building with no doors. As she circled it, a figure appeared a hooded being with hooved feet and glowing green eyes. Terrified, she ran, and when she looked back, both the figure and the building had disappeared. What are we to make of these stories of human encounters with the jinn? One common thread is their boldness and confidence in their power over humans. People often report feelings of dread or an uncontrollable urge to flee before even seeing the entity. Western scholars have compared the jinn to fae from Celtic and Slavic folklore, 
beings known for their unpredictability and interest in certain places, objects, or people. Skeptics often dismiss the jinn as psychological phenomena, arguing that belief in these legends predisposes people to interpret strange experiences as supernatural. Others suggest the jinn may be interdimensional beings or even extraterrestrials with abilities tied to electromagnetism or energy. Despite the many theories, solid evidence remains elusive and the jinn continue to dwell in the twilight, just out of reach of definitive proof.